Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, class. Okay. So, insyaAllah today we are going to learn about chemical bonding. But uh, for that, let us start our class with Umar Kitab Al-Fatiha. Right, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today we are, go, uh, we are going to continue our, from last class, which is uh, our topic about chemical bonding. So our subtopic right now today is uh, intermolecular forces. Right. Okay. So intermolecular forces. Basically, what we are going to learn in this subtopic is to describe the intermolecular forces, which is the van der Waals forces. So van der Waals can be categorized into two, which is dipole-dipole interaction and also London dispersion forces. And the next one is hydrogen bond. Right. So the next uh. Learning outcome is to explain the factors affecting the strength of the intermolecular forces, both for van der Waals and also hydrogen bond. Next, so what is intermolecular forces? So um, I think all of you still remember, right, from your uh, aspect of studies. Remember it? No? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you not remember. So today we are going to learn about it. So intermolecular forces, or IMF, we can say. Uh, attractive forces between the molecules so it is much weaker than covalent bond so uh, which is the intramolecular bond so this is the bond intermolecular between the molecules but for covalent bonds it is intra within the molecules so the strength of intermolecular forces determine the physical properties of the substance so this means that um, from the intermolecular forces themselves you can see um, the strength we can see it is can it can be a solid, liquid, or gas. So it depends on the strength, right? So these are the differences. So inter intramolecular force is the bond them uh, itself. So uh, regarding uh, regardless double bond, triple bond, or single bond. So these are the internal. But for intermolecular forces, they are between between the atoms or between the molecules so they are much weaker compared to inter intramolecular force right move on to the uh, so uh, attractive forces between neutral molecules are van der Waals forces which can be categorized into dipole dipole forces and also London dispersion forces and we got hydrogen one so this, the strength of the uh, intermolecular forces, we can um, arrange it as uh, the weakest one is London dispersion followed by dipole dipole and the strongest one is hydrogen one. Alright, so we start with uh, the first one, dipole dipole forces. What are dipole dipole forces? So dipole dipole force exists between neutral polar molecules. So what is meant by Neutral polar molecules. So, neutral polar molecules means neutral means there is uh, it is not an ion. So basically, the the formal charges is zero, but it still can be polarized. So that's what it means. It meant by polar. So polar molecules contain can be, uh, contain two different types of atoms. For example, it can be multiple atoms. But for in this case, for example, HCl. So H is uh, NCl so Cl is much more electronegative than H that's why we put it the sign delta minus and for H delta plus so from this uh, from this connotation we can see it is a polar molecule because there is difference in uh, electronegativity next one we can see in this figure is that that it, um, from this, we can see the types of atoms, but, but this time, we uh, we don't label it, but instead we can see how the electron uh, density, so the, uh, sorry, the difference between electron density. We can see that uh, this place, the blue one, the blue region is much more denser compared to the red one. So the blue, the blue one has much more electron. So that's why we put it as delta negative, and that's attracting a delta plus from another molecule. So these are the orientation of uh, polar molecules in a solid. So we can see how they are uh, they are arranged or 
we can say that they arrange each other by their polar polar charges or oh, sorry by their dipole charges so you can see that uh, the dipole between uh, the dipole uh, force between each of the molecules so how they arrange themselves so, so they attract to opposite charges so negative positive positive negative like that okay so far so good right okay so we move on so the strength of the dipole dipole forces depends on the dipole moment of the molecule so a more polar molecule has stronger dipole forces so how to how exactly we want to know is it more polar or less polar so for example in this case the dipole dipole forces in hcl is stronger than in hbr because why why because hcl cl is much more electronegative than br this are uh, uh, for example so um, we can see in periodic table so fluorine chlorine bromine so going up uh, the electronegativity increases so that's why we can say that uh, hcl dipole dipole forces in hcl are stronger than in hbr Next, dipole moment and boiling point relationship. So, in this table, you can see there are five molecules. So, propane, dipole ether, methyl chloride, acetaldehyde, and acetonitrile. So, in this uh, in this table, you can see the value of dipole moment. So, the lowest one is for propane, 0 0.1, and the highest one is acetonitrile, 3.9. And the boiling point, you can see also the boiling point also increases. Uh, along with the dipole moment so we can say that um, stronger dipole moment which uh, tends to uh, result to stronger or higher boiling point sorry higher boiling point why higher boiling point because we need much more energy to break down the dipole forces between the molecules that's why right okay next London dispersion forces so let us this question process we move on to the next one it exists between all atoms and molecules so non-polar molecules do not seem to have any basis for interactive interaction so uh, let me explain so for example that is this question process is basically uh, for non-polar molecules which there is no uh, or the dipole moment value is zero so there is no di uh, there is no charge or there is no dipole moment so there is no delta positive or delta negative there is still delta positive and delta negative but they cancel out each other so at any instant one side of the molecule has high electron density while the other side has lower electron density at this instant the atom or the molecules become a small instant uh, a small instantaneous dipole and then uh, thus induce a dipole moment uh, sorry thus induce the uh, induce a dipole in the neighboring atom or neighboring molecule so uh, this is how we illustrate that so for example we have um, an atom so atom A and atom B atom A and atom B so basically uh, first one initially they are not polarized no polarization and uh, after instantaneous uh, dipole on atom A so there is a uh, a separation or there is a uh, shift in electron density so there is delta minus and also delta negative uh, sorry delta minus and also delta positive and when they close to each other when they, when they come close to each other so delta positive and delta negative so delta positive will attract the electrons from the neighboring atom so that's why it induces a dipole on atom B so it goes to molecules. So molecules. So molecules. Initially, there are no polar polarization. Sorry. So polar, um, once we polarize, or once the instantaneous dipole uh, happen on molecule A, so there is a shift in electron density. So there will be a uh, delta negative and also delta positive. Hence, attracting and hence induce a dipole on. On molecule on another molecule so in this case for delta positive of course will attract delta negative so that's why there is an induced dipole on molecule B that's why uh, we also can call um, it is quite infectious here 
like infection so they spread from one to another although it is not a permanent uh, dipole but it is just a temporary so it is uh, due to uh, so let me explain so due to the electron repulsion a temporary dipole one one atom can uh, can induce a similar dipole on a neighboring atom so which can cause uh, the neighboring atoms to attracted to one another so this forces is called London dispersion forces or just dispersion forces we also can uh, we also can call it like that and only significant when the atoms are close together so bear in mind that when it is close together that so um, so uh, if they are only close together that's why uh, they can attract each other but if they are far apart jauh sangat they basically can't can't attract or can't induce a dipole charge or a dipole uh, can't induce a dipole to another atom alright so polarizing sorry polarizability so far okay alright okay continue so um, polarizability is the ease with which the electron uh, distribution in the atom or molecule can be distorted so we we could say that how easy it is to distort the electron density within an atom or molecule so polarizability increases with greater number of electrons or more diffuse electron cloud All right so dispersion forces usually increase with molar mass so as the molar mass increases so they speak so does the dis dispersion forces getting stronger so in this case you can see that melting points of similar non-polar compounds so ch4 cf4 ccl4 cbr4 and ci4 so melting point is getting higher and higher right so we can say that uh, yeah, the lightest molecule the lightest atom sorry uh, hydrogen so and then fluorine going down the group seven, group 17 halogen so it is getting heavier and heavier so that's the melting point so because of um, we can say that the heavier the molecules so uh, much more easy so the, the greater the polarizability that's why uh, the dispersion forces increases or getting stronger all right so quick quiz determine the types of molecules and IMF between them so uh, anyone can uh, answer it so HBR so what type of um, what type of uh, intermolecular forces what type of molecules yes okay good so it is HBR is a polar molecule so that the pole forces there are also dispersion forces between uh, between HBR molecules so uh, we got two forces between them so that pole pole and also London dispersion that's why we call it as when the walls all right so sulfur dioxide so2 good polar molecule also yes good and ch4 so ch4 is non-polar right so non-polar molecules only the special process between the ch4 molecules so i think uh, that's all thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh